right. Hello, BFIT Nation. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right. It's time for another edition of our BFIT Live segments here. This is where we get to focus on ourselves, focus on our health and our wellness, starting our week off nice and strong with some movements here. Today, we have some cardio-based movements, some resistance-based movements, and some core activation to round out our workout to start off our week. So please get settled in. Please grab that water, open up that space, get that space ready. All right, and let's um, reset and focus on ourselves for a second. So with that, I'm going to introduce my guest, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you doing today, ma'am? Hey, Ray, I'm good. I feel like we were just here, like we just did this. I'm pretty sure I'm still sore from last time. <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely right. So last week we came to you all on a Wednesday and we are back this Monday. So again, repetition is key. Consistency is key. All right. Dedication is key. And that's what we're all about here with our BFIT Live segments. So the way it goes for our BFIT Live, we have four workouts that we're going to tackle today. We have four movements, okay? Cardio-based movements, once again, and some resistance-based movements. So if you have any dumbbells that are not needed, but if you do have a dumbbell or a med ball of something like, or something like that, go ahead and grab that. Uh, you may be able to scale up and utilize those through um, each of these movements. So um, again, we have four movements that we're going to go through today. We have 40, our timing for today, it's 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. We have those four movements and then we have four rounds. So four rounds and then in between those four rounds, we will have one minute rest in between each round. Once again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds and one minute rest in between each round. So we will cycle through our programmed workouts, exercises one, two, three, and four. And then we'll have a short one minute break and then we'll move on to round two then round three, and then round four to complete are just under 30 minutes in total of a workout along with some dynamic stretching and a little bit of feedback that we will receive from you all. If you have any questions or comments along our journey of our workout, drop a note in the comments below and let us know how you're feeling, how you're doing, where you're working out from today, where you're joining us from today. So let us know and we will pull that up right now. And, um, and check things out. So speaking of that, Jason, what's going on? <laughs> You'll be here and yes, join us, join us, join us. All right, Jason. So with that, um, I'll go ahead and go through the demo of each exercises. That way there are no surprises here. Listen for any tips, any techniques, anything that you can take away from each movement to successfully complete each movement and challenge yourself. We'll jump into some dynamic stretching and then to get our minds and our bodies prepared, ready to work. And then we will jump into our workout. So with that, let's jump into exercise number one, okay? So like I said, cardio and resistance-based movements for today. So exercise number one, we have 10 high knees and two inchworms, okay? So this is really preparing us to, uh, this is actually going to get our heart rate elevated um, <laughs> nice and controlled here. So we have 10 high knees. So you're gonna start with that standing position. You're gonna drive up that knee right, with those 10 high knees. Now, depending on where that high knee is for you and your comfort level, it can be running in place for 10 steps, or it can be 10 high knees here. Stand on those toes, utilizing those arms for momentum, right? Left arm, right arm, um, opposite arm to opposite knee, as if you were running, okay? 10 high knees, after those are executed, we're gonna come to the back of our space, wherever that may be, and we have two inchworms. Inchworms meaning we are going to slowly and controlly come down to touch our toes, feel that stretch in your hamstrings, right? Walk it out nice and slow into that high plank position. Once you're in that high plank position, go ahead and take a little extra step, engage that core, keep that back flat, keep those hips square to the floor. From there, you're going to retract back, load up, touch those toes and extend out again for that second inchworm. All right, once that is complete, you're back up to standing position and then we are driving those knees for 10 high knees, okay? 10 high knees, two inchworms. That's gonna be the rep count for 40 seconds of work. Exercise number two, we're gonna slow, thing down, slow things down a bit with some controlled movements with um, any resistance that you may have. If you do not have any resistance, not needed, but go ahead and make that nice strong fist, we like to say. So 
We're gonna come to the front of our workout space. We are gonna reverse lunge back. And then we are gonna stand up into a lateral raise. So nice strong stance here. Take that leg, reverse lunge out, right? That chest is gonna be up. That front knee is gonna track over the front of that toe. That means we need to drop our hips back and down. 90 degree bend here at that front leg. From there, you're standing back up with the weights racked, palms facing you. You're going to lateral raise. We wanna activate those shoulders, that mid to upper back, those traps with that lateral raise. Right back down, starting position. Go ahead and alternate, left leg, right leg. And that's gonna be exercise number two, a reverse lunge to lateral raise. All right, exercise number three, a little bit more cardio intensive here. So it is a jump squat with a twist, okay? So we're gonna drop down into a squat position here. We want to explode up with that jump squat. After that, if you have any resistance here, go ahead and hold it at the center portion of your body. You're going to go ahead and lightly turn to the left, lightly turn to the right, engaging that core, those obliques onto the side with that small twist. Shoulders are gonna track along with the direction of that twist. And then you're back down into a jump squat. So jump squat with a twist. So if I had a dumbbell like so, racked at the front, down into that jump squat, and then lightly twist to the left and then to the right. And then you're back up into another jump squat. So that's a jump squat with a twist, okay? Lower body work, glutes, hamstrings, quads, and abdominals. <laughs> And exercise number four, we have a moving plank into four toe taps. So four moving planks and four toe taps. We're on the floor for this one. Moving plank beam, we are going to um, come down from high plank to low plank. So high plank being on our hands, nice strong position here. We wanna make sure that our back is flat, our hips are square to the floor. So a relatively straight line from your head all the way down to those heels, right? Your feet are shoulder width apart and those hands are gonna be directly underneath our shoulders. So from high plank, we drop down into that low plank position. That's gonna be one move back up into the high plank. That's two, three, we're gonna go for four reps here. So high plank, low plank, high plank, low plank. After that, we stand up nice and tall into that pike position. And you wanna take opposite hand to opposite toe. So right hand to left toe, back to that high plank, left hand to right toe. Now, if we cannot reach our toe, Go ahead and touch that shin. If you cannot reach that shin, go ahead and touch that knee, okay? So scale back as needed to your comfort level, okay? Wherever you are uh, the most flexible at, we can touch that knee here. And if we need to scale back a little bit more, let's come off of those knees or just hold that plank here. Um, again, to our comfort level here, let's do what we can. And if we need to scale back, we can do so as well. So this is gonna be the four movements for today. All right, 10 high knees, two inch worms reverse lunge to a lateral raise, jump squat with that twist and the four moving plank and the four toe taps. <sighs> I know, <laughs> it's Monday, welcome back, all right. So, um, Molly, thanks for joining us, all right. Uh, Sergeant Barry, how are you doing? How's it sound? Yeah, sounds awesome, let's do this. <laughs> Absolutely, yes ma'am. All right, all right. I know Sergeant Barry is ready to go. Our BFIT Nation looks like they are ready to go. So let's start off with some dynamic stretching here, okay? I know things of uh, we may be a little tight, our bodies may be a little tight. We may have be we have, may have been seated for a long period of time. So this is a great opportunity to kind of scan your body, feel it out, and get moving and get ready to jump into this workout. So as always, let's go ahead and take a few of our dynamic stretches are a few uh, flows and routines that we can accomplish to um, tackle each of these movements that we're about to do. So dynamic quad stretch here. We're gonna take that right leg, we're gonna extend it back, and we're gonna take that left hand and we are going to extend it overhead, okay? Be mindful to push those hips forward. You should feel that stretch in that hand, in your hip flexor here, in your quad, as you uh, pull back that leg and a little bit of a uh, <clears throat> shoulder mobility here and a blood flow coming up into that shoulder, that mid upper back and shoulder. Go ahead and I'll say left leg and right leg. And we will accomplish what we will do each of these movements for about 30 seconds here. So go ahead and go out your own tempo here. Feel it out, feel out your body. See what areas need to be worked on just a little bit more. All right, think about pushing those hips forward. Once again, push those hips forward and the hand 
goes a little higher, a little higher each time. Last one here. And then we will go into lateral lunges with our fixed feet. So nice wide stance here. Thinking about stretching out that inner portion of your thighs, your inner thigh, nice wide stretch. We are going to shift our weight over to the right, shift our weight over to the left. Our chest is up. Our head is looking straight ahead. Easy movements here to our comfort level, to our flexibility. Again, we'll feel a little bit of our stretch in that mid, I'm sorry, that inner thigh here. Can also start to feel some blood flow flowing down to our legs, getting ready to work here. Muscles are firing up, starting to wake up, starting to activate. All right, let's go into the top of our space here. Reverse lunge with a reach. All right, we have some reverse lunge work coming up. So this will be a nice preparation for that. Take that right leg extending all the way back here into that reverse lunge. Hands come together, come up and rotate over. Reaching over to the side that your front leg is forward. All right, back to standing position. Left leg goes back and we are reaching over to our right. Feeling that stretch in your lats, in the back. Shoulder work, mobility is going on. Hip flexors are firing up. Quads are firing up, glutes are firing up. Oh, this is a lot, a lot of bang for our buck here. Hands come up nice and tall, biceps are by our ears. A few more here. Really sit into that reverse lunge. Think about that breathing. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. That sounds good. Okay. A little bit of hip circles here. Since we do have some lower body work, we want to make sure that we are nice and loose here, especially in our hips if we've been seated for a long period of time. All right, team. Good. And again, with BFIT Live, these workouts. Ah, there's our. Yes, she is. She's been watching. I wonder if she's going to join. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Pets are always welcome here. <laughs> <laughs> A nice little obstacle to work around. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> YTW is here to round us out for that mid to upper back and our shoulders here. It will help with us moving planks as well. So let's start off in a strong stance position, feet shoulder width apart, hands come together, making that big Y as we extend out, bringing those you know, shoulder blades back just a little bit, squeezing back to center, making that big T with our hands, reaching it a little further left and right, back to center, and then making that W right here, bringing those shoulders back. Shoulder blades come back as well. You can feel that in your scapula, back to center, Reach for that Y. Good. Back to that T. Nice strong stance once again. Good. Into that W. Moving that one around just a little bit. Good. One more T or Y, rather. Reach a little taller. There you are. Big T here, left and right. Good. Last W, showing off those biceps. <laughs> All right, team. Here we go. Grab that water, grab that towel, grab that workout space. Christine, good to see you, Christine. <laughs> and let's get after it here. All right. Again, stay hydrated. Keep that water close. Mm. Each of these movements to our comfort level. Take breaks as needed, but challenge yourself. Challenge, your cha challenge yourself here. Let me get this timer started and let's get ready to roll. <clears throat> All right. All right, once again, 10 high knees and two inchworms are coming up for that cardio-based movement here. 10 high knees and two inchworms coming up in five seconds. All right, team, here we go. 40 seconds of work coming up. Two, one, 10 high knees here, and then down into those two inchworms. Driving those knees up, using those hands. Nice, quick movement, touching those toes. Down into that high plank position with that inchworm. Retract back, load up, touch those toes, come back into that high plank position. Pause for a second. Standing back nice and tall, back into those 10 high knees. Four runners, last 10 seconds here. Try to finish out that second round of an inchworm. 
Five more seconds here. Load up. Three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here, and then we are into that reverse lunge to lateral raise. If you have any resistance, go ahead and grab that. If not, make that nice strong fist. Coming up in five seconds. Reverse lunge to lateral raise in three, two, one. Here we go, team. Top of our workout space, lunging back, back to standing position into that lateral raise. Nice controlled movements here. Again, thinking about that chest up, nice and proud. Head is looking straight ahead. That front knee is tracking over that front toe. That reverse, that rear knee is hovering just over the floor here, that reverse lunge. 12 seconds and out. Good, good, good. Last five seconds. Out in three, two, one, and time. Good job, team. Good job. How are we doing? Good, good. All right. 10 seconds here. We have jump squat two with a twist. So once again, it's that jump squat here. And then we are twisting left and right, making sure to keep that core nice and tight. Here we go. 40 seconds on the clock. Two, one. Let's go, team. Jump squat. Nice twist here. And repeat. Keeping that core tight with that twist. Good. 22 here. With that jump squat, try and separate your feet from the floor here. A little bit of air in between. Out in 12 seconds. Six, five, three, two, one, and time. Good job, team. Good job. Keep it up. Here we go. Four moving planks and four toe taps to round out round number one. Eight seconds here. Four moving planks and four toe taps from high plank to low plank, and then from hand to foot. Here we go, team. 46. 46 on the clock here. Moving planks, four reps of each, three, four. After that, right hand to left toe, left hand to right toe. Four reps of those. Good. Nice controlled movement here. Think about those hands being directly underneath our shoulders for the most support. Nice wide stance with our foot placement. Out in eight seconds here. Last five, three, two, one, and time. Good job, good job. There we are, we here on one minute rest here. One minute rest here to regather ourselves, reset ourselves, hydrate, towel off. Now that we learned the movements here, it's a great time to think about adding weight, scaling up, or if you need modifications, now's the time to ask here. I like that squat. It's Robin, thank you so much, Robin. That squat with a twist. Again, it's a little two for one action here. So we're working that lower body, holding some resistance. So adding a little bit of weight to us. And then that core twist is just enough to activate that core, those obliques with that twist. So think about Controlling that abdominal as you twist, keeping it nice and tight, okay? Five seconds here, 10 high knees and two inchworms coming up in three, two, one. 40 seconds on the clock here, 10 high knees. After that, two inchworms reaching out of those toes, extending out into that high plank position. Once you're there, pause or take an extended reach. Retract back, touch those toes, load up back into another high plank with an inchworm, extend out if you can. Challenge yourself here, retract back, back into those 10. Good, last eight seconds here. Add in five, last three, two, one, and time. 40 seconds of work in the books here, 20 seconds of rest coming up. Limited amount of rest here, so forces us. <laughs> and keeps our heart rate nice and elevated. 
Reverse lunge to lateral raise coming up in six seconds. Get that weight ready. Get those bottles of water ready. Nice strong fist. Here we go, 20, 40 seconds of work here. That reverse lunge, nice and strong. Stay up nice and tall here. Chest is up nice and proud. Good. Good job, Sergeant Barry. Thank you. Good, 15 seconds left. Go at your own pace here. Drop that rear knee down as low to your comfort level as possible. Out in three seconds here. Last rep, two, one, and time. Good job. Good job. If you have a med ball, I'll do a jump twist, a jump squat with a twist with the med ball here. This is a, definitely a nice feature with the med ball, a weighted ball here. So you're able to really hold it at a more comfortable level. 40 seconds on the clock here, jump squat with a twist. That jump squat, adding that twist in. Shoulders, torso, head is rotating with that twist. Keeping that core tight. Thinking about engaging those abs. Bringing that navel in towards your spine. Last 13 here. Last 10. Good. Think about explosiveness off the balls of your feet to get a little bit of air. Last two, one, and time. Nice work, team. Nice work. Down to those moving planks with a twist here. Moving plank with a twist. Up in five seconds here. So let's get down to work. Three, two, one. Here we go, team. Moving plank. Four reps of moving plank. Four reps of toe touches. Nice. Take your time with these. If we need to eliminate one or the other, let's do it. All right, if we need to hold into that high plank or low plank position, let's do it. Last 15 here, we can always come down off of our knees and hold that low plank. Out in 10, thinking about keeping that back flat. Those hips square to the floor. Last four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, team. There we go, there we go, there we go. We are halfway done, halfway, halfway done with our workout here. So good job, stay with us, stay with us. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes, Molly, yes. You can have all of these for your at-home workouts. Yes, absolutely. 30 seconds of rest here, towel off, hydrate, hydrate. Think about switching that mindset to a reset. Good, good, good. All right, Robin, good to see you out here. Good to see you hitting those low squats. All right, 13 seconds here. Let's recover. We're back into round three, 10 high knees, two inchworms, okay? It's all about staying moving, staying active. Up in three seconds here, two, one, 10 high knees coming up and then that two inchworm. All right, if you're with us here, stay with us. All right, just move. If we're running in place, if we're jump roping, if we're doing jacks, that's fine. Let's just keep moving together. Second inchworm for me, loading back up and into those four, 10 high knees. All right, last eight seconds here. Inchworm coming up, extending out a little bit further. Out in three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here, reverse lunge into that lateral raise. All right, how are we doing team? How are we doing? Stay with us here. All right, what you put in is what you're going to get out. <laughs> three seconds here, reverse lunge, the lateral raise coming up in two, one. All right, team. Nice and strong here, reverse lunge. Controlled movements here with weight. Good 
There we go. Good job, good job. Nice and controlled here. Last 10 seconds. A few more reps here. Last five seconds. Last rep and a half. <laughs> I don't know what that half comes into, but here we go. That's time, 40 seconds of work in the books. Stay with one dumbbell, stay with no dumbbell, stay with a med ball, a little bit of resistance here, scaling up with that jump squat. If you had two dumbbells, I'll show you right here. Two, one at waist level here into that jump squat. Good, control that twist, right? Adding a little bit of resistance here for that jump squat. Good, try to get a little bit of air in between you, your feet and the ground. Last 15, good. Driving up from those heels, the balls of your feet, keeping that chest up. Last five seconds, out in three. Two, one, and time. Good job, team. Way to finish out that set. Four moving planks, four toe taps coming up in 10 seconds. A soft 10. Catch your breath here, catch your breath. Five seconds here, four moving planks, four toe taps. Three, two, one. Here we go, team. Up in that high plank position. Moving into those four reps here. On that moving plank, hands or elbows underneath our shoulders. Reaching back for those toes or those shins or those knees, wherever we're falling here, holding that plank for 15 more seconds. Here we go. Keep working team out in 10. You got it. Last five, three, two, one, finish it out in time. <laughs> ah, team, good job, good job. How are we feeling? How are we doing? Stacy, hello from Luke Air Force Base. Back on it. Okay, okay. You're just recovering, so welcome back. All right. As always, push yourself, challenge yourself. But you know, you know where that level is. You know where you're where you're at, you know how far you can push yourself to your comfort level. So I know you're recovering here. So things may be not as strong as they used to be, especially with your cardiovascular system. So take it in stride here, but building you back up week by week here, day by day. So that's the goal here, Be Fit Live. We're working on bettering ourselves week by week, 1% better each week, each week. Five seconds here, when those high knees and two inchworms, Last round here, team. Last round coming up. Two, one. Here we go. Nice, strong high knees down into those inchworms. Two to be exact. Extending out if you can. Back into that high plank. Retract back. Touch those toes. Reload. Back out. High plank position. Hold it for a little bit. Good. I'm <laughs> having fun with that one. Ten high knees here. Good. 10 seconds left. Loading out into that inchworm. Last five. If we can hold it and extend it, let's do it. Out in three, two, one, and time. Retracting back here. Good job. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. There we go. Five seconds here. Catch that breath. Towel off, reverse lunge into lateral raise with that resistance. Left hand, right hand, palms facing you, front of your space, reverse lunge back, 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. <laughs> good job team, good job, keep it up. Keep up that proud chest as well. Try not to bend forward. All right, we want you looking at us. All right, keeping that chest up. Last 13 seconds here, out of that reverse lunge, thinking about driving up with that front leg, that front heel, 
Really engaging that quad, that front quad. Out in two, one, time. <laughs> time, time, time. All right, team. Last round. Sergeant Barry. Last round. Last round, best round. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Jump squat with a twist coming up in three, two, one. Here we are. Jump squat with a twist. All right. We've had three round, three rounds to learn these movements. <laughs> Let's dial it in. Push ourselves for the full 40 seconds of work here. Mm, last 20 seconds. Control that rotation. Control that twist. Twist with the purpose, move with the purpose, explode up with the purpose. Out in five, last three, two, one, and time. Way to go team, way to go, way to go. Carla, welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. All right, all right, all right. Five seconds here, our last exercise for today. Four moving planks and four toe taps. Coming up in three, two, one. Here we go, team, high plank position. Moving into that low plank. Back up into that high plank. Back down into that low plank. Back up into that high plank. Now we are touching our toes. Keeping that back flat at that low position, piking up, reaching for those toes. If you can touch those toes at ease, Try going a little farther. Can you touch your heel? <laughs> Good, keeping that core tight. Once again, navel goes back to our spine. Glutes are engaged. Last three, two, one, slow one, and finish it out time. Ah, <laughs> 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 Fit Nation, how do we do? How are we feeling? How are we feeling? Are you still with us? Let us know. Let us know. I know. Grab that water. Grab that towel. Wipe down for a second. Let's get our breathing under control. Nice deep breaths here. All right. I know we've elevated our heart rate with this hybrid style of workout. So we had some plyo movements with high knees. We had the inchworm to really focus on full body engagement as we extend out, right? We had jump squats, all right? Getting our heart rate elevated once again, working on explosiveness as we drove up from our feet, our heels, our toes up into a jump squat, right? Engaging that core with that twist. Reverse lunge to lateral raise. You should feel some blood flow in those shoulders. Worked today, all right? A little stronger on those shoulders with that reverse lunge and lateral raise and then finally core engagement core activation nice strong moving planks here high plank low plank and working on some flexibility and mobility with those four toe taps that rounded out our hybrid style of workout for today all right robin robin thank you so much for gordon shout out for gordon all right <laughs> i've never been there Sergeant Barry, how are you doing? Have you been to Fort Gordon? What, what base is it? Actually, you know what? <laughs> you know what? You have not. Maybe you have not. Fort, 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 Fort. <laughs> Fort Gordon. <laughs> no, I know. I sure haven't. All right. How are you feeling? How are we doing? Yeah, that was an excellent workout. I, you know, I feel super strong today. So you can definitely tell there's progression. So it feels good to you know, just to feel stronger and healthier. So it's, it's awesome. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love, I love the progression. I think it's, it's, um, it's so important to realize the progression that you can make throughout each week, you know, each day, um, give yourself credit for the small wins, the small victories and the small progressions, um, noticing within your body, whether it's strength, whether it's, whether it's cardiovascular, um, whether it's mobility or flexibility, these are all wins that we carry along day by day, week by week. And in turn, those small wins add up to great, big, larger victories out for us, right? So I think that's, um, it's, it's a great key and it's a great message to take away as far as, you know, striving to reach whatever goal that you've set for yourself, 
you know, accept and, and appreciate those small victories and they will in turn lead up and carry out to those bigger wins. <laughs> so Molly, yes, ma'am, pa, progress, progress. Great way to start the week, absolutely. <laughs> so once again, this is our BeFit Live workout. We're tailored uh, to whether you're at home or whether you're on the go, um, whether you're in an environment like myself or whether you're outdoors, it doesn't take up a lot of room here, a lot of space. We're here every Monday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, all right? So join us, join us, join us, share, share our program, share uh, a watch party, okay? Um, go ahead and invite your friends, all right? Your workout partners, your battle buddy, your accountability partner, your spouse, your sibling, um, anything uh, like that to help encourage, motivate, and um, account, you know, keep each other accountable here. It's all about uh, health and wellness this year, 2021. All right, getting back on track. I know uh, some things may have been tough between last year and now, but now is our time to focus on ourselves from the inside out, from the outside in. So again, uh, BeFit Live. Um, go ahead and visit our Facebook page and our playlist under BeFit, and you'll see a lot of um, all of our catalog um, BeFit Live workouts are in our Facebook page as well from the exchange. So um, if you're looking for additional support, if you're looking for different types of workouts, every workout has been different. So whether it's cardio based, whether it's resistance based, um, you know, whether it's a hybrid of both like today, uh, we do have something in there that's geared and available for every body. So <laughs> with that, any last words, Sergeant Mary, any last words before we plug out? I just agree with Molly. What an excellent way to start the week. So I guess let's get it started, huh? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> let's get it started here. So with that, have a great rest of your day. Have a great rest of your week. And we will see you again next Monday, Roy Montes and uh, Team Restaurant Barry. We're signing out.